New this morning, the Facebook founder's forceful defense. Mark Zuckerberg, in a lengthy post to his staff, writing, I think most of us just don't recognize the false picture of the company that is being painted. His rebuttal to dramatic testimony from a former employee. Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. Zuckerberg, never mentioning by name, whistleblower Francis Haugen, who painted a damning picture of Facebook and its products. The company's leadership knows how to make Facebook and Instagram safer, but won't make the necessary changes because they have put their astronomical profits before people. Zuckerberg writes, that's just not true, calling it illogical to suggest Facebook's algorithm promotes hateful, divisive content, as Haugen suggests. Quote, we make money from ads, and advertisers consistently tell us they don't want their ads next to harmful or angry content. And he called it difficult to read the mischaracterization of research into how Instagram affects younger people, with Haugen saying Facebook knows that app can be toxic for teens. And in, in the end, the buck stops with Mark. She wants Congress to act with new regulations. And Zuckerberg, who's appeared four times on Capitol Hill since last summer, says he does too, but still not much action yet. What's changed uh, is Ms. Hogan and her courage. You think we, she's the tipping point? I think she has allowed us to get under the hood of Facebook. So what's next? It's possible Congress could establish more muscular federal oversight for big tech, require platforms to share with regulators their proprietary algorithms, the code that determines what posts pop up in your feed, or change something called Section 230, which now gives broad immunity to tech companies to instead perhaps hold them liable for the way their algorithms promote content. And as it relates to big questions about how companies should think about social media and kids, like how to balance teens' privacy with parents' oversight, Zuckerberg defers to lawmakers. He writes, at some level, the right body to assess these kinds of trade-offs is Congress. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.